For months, the name 3 I slash ATLAS has echoed across observatories, mission control rooms, and science forums. An interstellar visitor cutting through our solar system on a one-time journey has already passed Mars and is now heading toward the blazing heart of our cosmic neighborhood, the Sun. But just before it vanished behind the solar glare, something happened that no one was quite prepared for. On October 4, 2025, NASA's Perseverance rover, sitting quietly in Jezero Crater on Mars, turned its navigation camera skyward and captured a frame that ignited debate across the world. The image showed three I slash A-T-L-A-S, but not as a simple glowing dot like scientists had predicted. Instead, it appeared as an elongated stripe stretching across the Martian sky, sparking questions that no one had solid answers for. To the casual eye, it looked like a cylinder, a massive glowing bar streaking through the void. Within hours, social media erupted. Was it a trick of the camera? Or could 3i slash ATLAS be something far stranger than a lump of ice and rock from another star system? NASA's official line was cautious. The stripe was an artifact, a byproduct of how the camera stitched together several images over a few minutes. But whispers spread quickly. What if this interstellar comet wasn't just a comet? What if its structure was intentional? Its shape engineered. Let's step into the science for a moment. Perseverance's NavCam isn't built to take glossy, high-resolution color images like Hubble or James Webb. It's designed for function, not beauty. For guiding the rover safely across Mars, each pixel in those grayscale frames corresponds to about 68 arc seconds of the sky. And at the time the image was taken, 3i slash ATLAS was approximately 38 million kilometers away from Mars. That means each pixel represented a slice of sky about 12,500 kilometers across at that distance. So when the comet appeared four times longer than it was wide, that bright stripe represented a projected length of roughly 50,000 kilometers. Now, here's where things get strange. The actual estimated size of 3 I slash ATLAS, even using the most generous upper limit, is around 46 kilometers wide. Perseverance seemed to capture. That should make the explanation clear. It's an imaging artifact, the kind that happens when a fast-moving object is photographed in multiple exposures. And yet, the human brain resists simple explanations. We see a shape where none should exist, and our curiosity fills in the gaps. Could it be more than a coincidence? Could it be a vessel, a probe, or a fragment of something even larger? To fuel that fire, consider its motion. Mars orbits the Sun at around 24 kilometers per second. 3i slash ATLAS, however, moves in a retrograde orbit, traveling in the opposite direction. At nearly 67 kilometers per second relative to the Sun, the combined relative velocity between Mars and the object exceeded 90 kilometers per second. At that speed, in the 10 minutes of the NavCam's stacked exposures, 3i slash ATLAS would have streaked about 50,000 kilometers across the Martian sky, exactly the length of the glowing stripe in the image, a perfect, logical match. And yet, logic rarely satisfies the imagination. Because while NASA engineers calmly explain the phenomenon, the image itself refused to settle quietly into the archives. It took on a life of its own. Theories emerged like wildfire. Some claimed the object had an unnatural glow pattern, uniform from end to end. 
Others pointed out faint shadows around the stripe that seemed inconsistent with camera behavior. And then, of course, came the classic question, why does NASA always release these images with such minimal context? Why the delay in providing raw data from other cameras or instruments? And that's where things got even more compelling. Perseverance wasn't the only eye on the sky. In orbit around Mars, seven active spacecraft were also watching, including NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. But the real star among them was HiRISE, the high-resolution imaging science experiment camera aboard MRO. It had already captured data on three I slash ATLAS one day before Perseverance's sighting. Yet weeks later, those high-definition images remained unreleased. NASA confirmed they were under analysis, but offered no public timeline. And in the silence that followed, speculation thrived. Why the delay? Were scientists simply verifying data? Or was there something more to this comet than the official report suggested? Meanwhile, from Earth, the situation only deepened the mystery. 3i slash ATLAS had slipped behind the sun, disappearing into the blinding glare. Ground based telescopes could no longer track it, and even the powerful Hubble and James Webb telescopes had to wait until December, when the object would re emerge from the other side. For now, humanity's view was severed. The only watchers left were robotic orbiters circling Mars and perhaps a few deep space probes. To us, 3i slash ATLAS became a ghost, a moving rumor in the cosmic dark. And now, as it plunges toward the sun, scientists prepare for the moment of truth. On October 29, 2025, 3i slash ATLAS will reach perihelion, its closest point to the sun, just 1.4 astronomical units away, roughly 210 million kilometers, brushing the orbit of Mars. For most comets, perihelion is the breaking point. The sun's heat can vaporize surface ices, fracture the core, or even disintegrate the entire nucleus in a bright, violent burst. But for an interstellar comet like 3i slash ATLAS, this is uncharted territory. You see, every comet we've ever studied was born in our solar system, built from materials shaped by our own sun's radiation and chemistry. 3i slash ATLAS, by contrast, is alien in every sense. It formed under a foreign star, with unfamiliar minerals, unknown compositions, and a structure hardened by eons in the frozen gulf between solar systems. It has survived the radiation of deep space, micrometeorite collisions, and cosmic rays for millions, perhaps billions, of years. What happens when something like that faces the raw fury of our sun? The truth is, no one knows. If it's fragile, it could explode into a cloud of debris, scattering the secrets of another star across the void. But if it's resilient, metallic, dense, perhaps even partially reflective, it might endure the sun's assault and continue past, becoming the first interstellar object to be tracked through both inbound and outbound solar passes. In November, the European Space Agency's JUICE mission, orbiting Jupiter, is set to attempt distant spectroscopic measurements of the object. Whether there'll still be an object left to observe remains to be seen. But let's return for a moment to that eerie image from Mars, the stripe that started it all. Science can explain the pixels, the motion blur, the exposure times, but what it cannot explain is why so many people feel that this moment means something. Perhaps it's because deep down, we recognize that space isn't empty, that every visitor from the stars is a story, not just an object, a question sent across the galaxy waiting for an answer. What if 3i slash ATLAS isn't just a comet, but a messenger, 
a relic of a distant civilization's ancient system, drifting aimlessly until it found us? Or what if it's something nature itself built, a cosmic sculpture shaped by forces we barely understand? These are the thoughts that keep astronomers awake, staring at their screens long after the data stops coming. For now, the official statement remains grounded and calm. The Perseverance image shows nothing unusual, a trick of exposure, a smudge of light. But even the most rational minds can't help but feel a flicker of awe at the timing. The fact that, out of all the worlds in the solar system, a single robotic rover on Mars happened to catch this interstellar traveler as it passed, it feels almost poetic. Soon, 3i slash ATLAS will complete its rendezvous with the sun. It will either shine brilliantly, defying expectations, or disintegrate quietly, leaving behind nothing but gas and dust. Either way, it will leave its mark, not just on data logs and images, but in our collective imagination. Because each time an object crosses into our solar system from the vast unknown, we're reminded of a truth both humbling and exhilarating. We are not alone in the galaxy, not in the sense of life perhaps, but in the sense of motion, of connection, of shared cosmic history. 3i slash ATLAS has already passed Mars, already inspired controversy, already blurred the line between science and speculation. And now, hidden behind the sun, it races toward its fate, a streak of mystery, a whisper of another world. On October 29th, it will meet the sun head on. Will it flare into brilliance or crumble into silence? Will it reveal something utterly alien in composition or simply fade one more comet consumed by the heat of our star? In the end, we wait, we wonder, and we listen to the silence between planets, a silence that holds stories older than Earth itself. Somewhere out there, 3i slash ATLAS continues its relentless journey, a cosmic traveler daring us to look deeper, to question harder, because sometimes the universe doesn't just show us its facts, sometimes it tests our imagination and leaves us staring at a streak of light, wondering if we've just seen a visitor or a sign.